But you know, why did, why did we only choose to have a weekly meeting? I just want to give you my reasoning, just if you're wondering, you know, because we come from a tradition in a lot of churches where, you know, you have the Wednesday night, the Sunday morning and the Sunday night. And um, some of you might be wondering, well, why did we only choose to have the Sunday morning and not uh, the three uh, gatherings a week? Well, my reasoning behind that, when, when we think of Wednesday, you know, we used to go to Lighthouse Baptist Church over in La Perouse. And when we were living over there, it was fine because I worked in Mascot and then, you know, just go home, you know, 10 minute trip, you know, have time for dinner and then head over to church at 7.15, I think it started. But a lot of people couldn't make it to the Wednesday night because a lot of people live out west. So, and when I moved here to Punchbowl, it was like, you know, 40 minutes home. I have to like eat in like 10 minutes and then 40 minutes back over to church. Um, and then you'd only just get there on time. And then you'd have to, you couldn't really stay really late because you'd have to get home and then get your kids to sleep. So it was almost like the, the amount of time you were traveling and getting ready to go to church, that was the amount of time you actually had church. And then because, you know, there wasn't really time for fellowship afterwards, I guess it depends how close you live to your church, you know, people would shoot off straight after church because, you know, you'd finish at like 8.30 and you know, people got like an hour trip home that they have to get back over west. Um, so I just felt it wasn't really conducive for fellowship and it was, just wasn't really worth the time it took to travel and to prepare for that night for the time that you were actually together. Um, and it was quite stressful for you know, my family because it's young. And, you know, obviously this is just my experience. So if you have an experience where you said, hey, you know, I didn't feel that way, then, you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Wednesday night. Just giving you a bit of reasoning why we did it the way we did it here. So that's why we didn't have the Wednesday. Um, I just felt like it was a bit stressful. And because I'm working full time, it was just a bit too much. So we didn't do the Wednesday because we just thought, you know, it was only a little bit of time together and it was a lot more work for that. <laughs> Now the Sunday night we didn't decide to do because it just made Sunday way too long because we, you know, we started in the morning and then we wanted to have soul winning on Sunday. So yeah, if you just have, if you're the sort of Christian that just goes to church twice on Sunday but you don't go soul winning, yeah, Sundays is great, right? Because you're not, you're not doing the preaching, you're not involved in the service, you know, you just, you just go there, you're just watching two, two gatherings and then you go home. Yeah, that's really relaxing. But when you're the one actually preparing it, you're the one preaching the sermons, you're the one preparing, you know, everything that's going on. And then, you know, you're preparing for the lunch and helping to pack up and set down and clean up. And then you're going soul winning Sunday afternoon. Having another gathering at night which just made the day so long. And then because it was normally around six o'clock, if you went soul winning, you didn't eat dinner until like 8, 8.30. You know, because there was not much time to eat dinner before because you'd come back from soul winning and it's time... To, get, to go to church for the evening gathering. So it, just, it just made the, way, the day, in my opinion, way too long. It was really tiring for my wife as well with the kids. So instead, so the way I thought about it in my head is instead of separating up three smaller gatherings, why didn't we just have the one big gathering on Sunday? So that's why, you know, we have, we sort of emphasize our Sunday morning gathering and want everyone there. And I think it works really well. And that's why we have prayer on Sunday morning, so that we don't have the Wednesday night prayer meeting. We come together on Sunday and we pray. And, uh, you know, we, we pray and we have, uh, you know, a good, meaty, doctrinal message. You know, we, we eat together. Uh, so I thought it, it, it would work better if we just emphasize this one big gathering weekly rather than three uh, more stressful gatherings throughout the week. And I think it's working pretty well. I hope, I hope you guys like how we do it here. I know we definitely like it better. It's just you know, something to look forward to and then you have a bit more of a relaxing night. Um, and that's also the reason why we start at nine o'clock, you know, because people say, oh, you know, you start really early. Because we want to start at nine o'clock so that we have time for prayer, we have time for Bible reading, but also so we had time to prepare lunch. Because one thing I didn't like about uh, a lot of churches is that when the when church is going on and the preaching and the singing and the teaching are going on you got all the ladies like off in another room having to prepare lunch for everyone because everyone wants to just walk out of the service and be served right walk out of the service and it's like oh how come lunch is not ready well you know because people have that mentality and you shouldn't have that sort of mentality you know because you know you're not here to be served you're here to serve you know, I didn't want people to miss out on church because I have to prepare food for everyone. So that's why I started it earlier so that we have time for all these things, but we also have time to prepare lunch together and still eat uh, at, a, at a good time. So that's a bit of my reasoning uh, behind why we do it the way we do it. 
uh, not just trying to be different. But you know, why do churches traditionally meet on Sunday mornings? You say, well, you know, should a church meet on Sunday? Should they meet on Saturday? What if they only meet on Saturday nights or on Sunday? Are they, are they sinning? Well, no, actually, because it, it's just really tradition why we meet on Sunday mornings. We are not, we're not even commanded how often to meet. You know, who knows if they meet, met every two weeks or weekly or they, they met, you know, we don't have, we, I mean, they met daily even. I mean, should we, make, should, we meet, should we be meeting daily? But there's no commandment in the Bible telling us how often we are to meet. We see examples of the Bible of when they met. And that's really where we get the tradition of the Sunday morning gathering because that is the day that Christ rose again from the dead. So that's when people remember and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We have examples in the Bible of the, the apostles and disciples breaking bread on the first day of the week. But it's not a sin if, if churches don't meet on a Sunday. Some churches meet on a Saturday night. Um, some churches meet on a weekday night, whenever. Whenever is convenient for them because there isn't a command. But one thing I will say is, you know, this, that Sunday is not a, the new Sabbath, you know, which is what a lot of Protestant churches teach, uh, that Sunday is the new Sabbath and it's a sin to work on Sunday. You know, the Sabbath has been done away with. We do not keep the Sabbath anymore. Uh, it was Saturday in the Old Testament. So the Sunday is not magically this new Sabbath because Jesus Christ rose from the dead, which is what the you know, Westminster Confession of Faith teaches. Um, so I don't refer to Sunday as the Lord's Day, as a lot of churches teach, because we, we're not told in the Bible what day the Lord's Day is. And in fact, in Revelation, when John uses that phrase, the Lord's Day, he could be talking about the day of the Lord. And in fact, I believe that the day of the Lord is actually, that, like, is actually a long period of time. But... Um, I'll go into that in another sermon, or you can ask me about that. But that's what I think the Lord's Day is referring to, and that's why Revelation goes on into the end times and the things that are happening in the last day, last days. So I don't refer to Sunday as the Lord's Day, as though this day is holier than other days, because every day is the Lord's Day. Every day is a day that we ought to worship and glorify God with our life. But, you know according to our schedule and according to tradition, you know, we have the weekend on Saturdays and Sundays, so it's just easier for us to meet on Sundays.